All right, we are all getting excited for the start of the Olympic Games. And if you're like many people, you might also be inspired perhaps to get into better shape or maybe work on exercise, et cetera. So to help everybody get ready and started, we asked a local athletic trainer to create a set of exercises for our viewers inspired by the Olympic Games. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here now to explain how these can kind of jumpstart your workouts, which is fun to kind of add a little bit of variety. Absolutely, Karen. You know, while Olympians specialize in a specific activity and they do specific exercises to really enhance that ability, that is also essential that they maintain their general physical fitness. So if you are inspired by Olympians, a Henry Ford Health athletic trainer has created a group of exercises influenced by Olympic activities. And here's why they can be a good start for anyone. Have you noticed any change in the, in the way people think about athletic activity during times like the Olympics? I think, uh, I think individuals like to get a little more creative and we steer away from the basics of just a basic barbell squat. We got to add a little bit more um, craziness to it, so we need to add a little bit more uh, fun things to it. But other than that, I think people get really energized by the Olympics, they get inspired by the Olympics, and so they want to come in and they want to jump higher and they want to run faster, so we have to incorporate ways to make that happen for them. To help our viewers mix it up, Jenny Burnham, a Henry Ford Health athletic trainer and sports performance specialist, combines several different Olympic-inspired exercises for a new routine. Incorporating multi-joint, multi-body exercises so you can really get the most bang for your buck. So working, um, stabilizing the core while you're using those glutes in your legs and then adding an overhead component to it. And now we're gonna get everything in there in one basic exercise. Um, and then we want to challenge you. You can increase it by the amount of resistance or maybe the amount of reps that you're using to uh, whatever your experience level allows you to do. And she really does encourage everyone to get motivated, even if you start with simple walking. The adage, if you don't use it, you lose it, is absolutely true. So you might, if you used to work out a lot and then you kind of took a break from it, you may have to start at the bottom. But once you start building up that foundation, you don't have to continue to increase the amount of resistance. You can keep it the same as long as you're being active to maintain those benefits that you've gotten from um, exercising and creating your own programs. Now we have an eight minute video that shows how to do each exercise and a sheet that you can print out as well. You can find that right now on the health page at clickondetroit.com. Now being fit for life is crucial to our health and it's the focus of Local 4's July Go Forward event which is happening tomorrow. I'm gonna to be joining the Detroit River Walkers to lead a one mile walk starting at 8 a.m. Now Detroit River Walkers is actually a program for adults 50 and older that encourages wellness. There's gonna be free blood pressure screenings as well and a Zumba class and you can register at clickondetroit.com. Now, we also want to help young people be active, so we're also collecting new sports equipment for Detroit Pal from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. at Cullen Plaza in Detroit. They need baseballs, softballs, footballs, soccer balls, basketballs, and more. And to see the full list on clickondetroit.com, you can just go there, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Please register. Yeah. All right, Doc. Thank you. You're showing up, right? I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll be there too. It'll be fun. All right, thanks, Doc.